Tonight, more calls for safety from the Culinary Union as reps say more members are in danger of getting the virus. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Denise Valdez. The union releasing some pretty staggering numbers today, showing just how many union workers have either been hospitalized or died from COVID-19. Sasha Loft is joining us now live from the Las Vegas Strip with more on their desperate request to state leaders. Sasha. Denise and Kirsten, union representatives say they are simply asking for worker and customer protection here. They say that the numbers they released today are an example that action absolutely needs to be taken. Now, the union says since casinos reopened, hospitalizations for workers and their families has gone up 860%. They say 22 culinary union members have died from COVID-19 complications. That's since March 1st, while 352 workers Workers and their family members have been hospitalized. Representatives are now proposing a state bill be placed on the agenda for the 2020 special legislative session to ensure more safety measures are taken. We're asking for testing. We're asking for they checking the temperature. We're asking for they have the tell completely the plans they have to how they're going to take care of the COVID-19. I'm talking with people who have their mother in, in the hospital. And um, it's hard. It's tough, you know, to, to you even can go see your mom. Because you're sick too. The proposed bill is called the Adolfo Fernandez bill. It's named in honor of a strip hotel worker who died of COVID-19 complications. Now, I have reached out to the governor's office for a response on this or a statement regarding the information the union sent out today. I have yet to hear back, but we'll, of course, stay, or, uh, keep you posted, rather, both on air and online at 8newsnow.com. For now, reporting on the Las Vegas Strip, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.